As a preliminary matter, this is John Regan, Chair of the Auburn Planning Board. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons that participated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Ron Brooks. Present. Steve Chambers. Todd Corain. Laura Keshnawa. Town officials and employees participating, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Town planner Adam Menard. Yeah. Staff assistant Rachel Pressey. Here. Good evening. This is this open meeting of the Town of Auburn Planning Board of Tuesday, January 11, 2022, now called to order at 7 p.m. This meeting is being conducted remotely, consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings, and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of the public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which you can find posted with the agenda materials for this meeting on the town's website allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. For this meeting, the planning board is convening by remote participation for the public only. Although some members of the planning board are physically located in the selectmen's meeting room in town hall, those members and employees are practicing social distancing in accordance with the governor's orders. For the public to join the meeting remotely by telephone, call 1-312-757-3121 and enter access code 133-747-477, or the public can join via computer at the gotomeeting.com backslash join backslash 133-747477. Remote access information has been posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded by the Auburn Cable Television. Accordingly, those members of the planning board, employees, and members of the public who participate Please be aware that other folks may be able to see you, and please take care not to sh screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided to the members of this body are available on the town's website. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda. Meeting business ground rules. We are now turning to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I, Chair of the Board, will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the Chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motion. Please hold until your name is called. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the Chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in discussion with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. After members have spoken, the chair will afford the public comment as follows. The chair will first ask members of the public who wish to speak to identify their names and addresses only. Once the chair has a list of all public commentators, I will call on each by name and afford three minutes for any comments. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by a roll call vote. Going to the first item on the agenda, we have an A&R plan for 291 Milbury Street. Is Mr. Marcotte present? Present. Uh, can you just give us a quick rundown, Mr. Marcotte, of what your intentions here are? Certainly. So we are simply uh, providing an accommodation to our neighbors, um, uh, an interested purchasing party of record. Brad and Diane Simon-Lewis. Uh, we were approached as an interest in creating a bit more of a space accommodation for their fencing interest in their backyard. Uh, it's a portion of our acreage that's not very easily by us, uh, nor have we ever had any real profound interest in as part of the overall lot and acreage that we're fighting on. So as we are in the process of selling them home, uh, it's uh, 
deemed a good time to enter those conversations and whether or not we were willing to uh, offer an accommodation for purchase as a separate parcel of our overall acreage as it currently exists. So, so the intention is to sell that parcel C to your butters on the west and north? Correct. Okay. Um, is there anyone from the public that may have any public comment? Being none, Ron, do you have any comment? No. Dwarkesh, do you have any comment? Uh, one, one question, John, to, uh, to Mark. I think it's so. Mark, it's, it's only parcel C, right? That that is the question here. Mr. Marquardt is asking you if the only parcel in question is parcel C. Um, I, I, is, if I could speak to that. Um, this is Diane Simonelli. I, we are the abutter uh, purchasing the property. And yes, it is only parcel C that will be transferred. So you're, you're purchasing the entire parcel C? We are. Okay. Currently, and as Mr. Marcus said, currently we have uh, when our house was built 20 years ago, when they put that when they put the pool in, they actually put the fence on their property. So we're fixing an encroachment that's been there for some time. Okay. Anything else, Mark No, no other questions on my side. All right. Can I have a motion to approve the um, ANR? Todd's on the line now too. Who is? Todd. Todd, you on the line? Yes, I am. Okay, did you hear and understand everything that we just discussed? Yep, I came in before the discussion started. Thank you. Okay. Um, do you have any comments? I do not. Thank you. Okay. May I have a motion? John, I'll make the motion that we I'll make the motion that we approve it, it's Ronnie. Thank you, Ron. May I have a second? This is Todd. I'll second. All those in favor, Ron Brooks? Aye. Todd Corain? Aye. Dwarf Kesh Nallen? Aye. And I, John Regan, is an aye. It is a vote. Um, I'll just ask those board members to please come into the town hall to sign this, ask be signed in person. That is one question we do have because they do have uh, the house up for sale. When is it? When would that mylar be available for pickup? Because we, again, have to go through the lawyer to have everything rewritten. We want to make sure this gets done in a timely manner so there's no hold up when they go to sell the house. Uh, I'll have it ready. I can let you know once the board members, once I have enough signatures. Um, so once the board members come down, I'll have this plan available in the selectman's office. So if any, neither three not here tonight can come down this you know this week tomorrow um as soon as possible that'd be great well, my, perfect you know my signature tonight okay good luck thank you so much you're welcome uh second up on the agenda is applicant FASA management incorporated requesting site plan approval under section 3.2.2.2 of the auburn zoning bylaw for 12 townhouses at 262 Central Street, Auburn Mass, 01501, Map 56, Parcel 82, continued from 12-14-2021. Uh, they have requested another continuance. May I have a motion to approve this continuance? I'll make a motion. Yeah. Todd? Was that Todd? I'll second. Okay. No, Todd is seconding. Okay, who made uh, the Okay. All those in favor? Um, Todd Corain? Aye. Rakesh Nallen? Aye. Ron Brooks? Aye. Myself, John Regan, is an aye. It is a vote. And that next meeting will be February 8th? Uh, correct. Of 2020. Uh, in other business, a discussion of the reserve at Ashworth Hills. Alba Street bond reduction. Um, I don't know if any of you gentlemen have had time to really go through this bond. Is anyone, is there anyone here from Eastland Partners? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, for the record, 
Clay Williams, partners. Good evening, Clay. Um, do you have any comments or before I? Uh, yeah, the only comment I would have is, you know, we agree with Graves' most recent estimate and uh, we're requesting the bond re reduced to uh, their requested amount. Which is 199,000 rounded. Correct, yeah. Uh, does anyone on the board have any comment? Ron, do you have any comment? No, I'm all set, John. I'll go along with what Graves said. Hey, Todd, do you have any comment? Uh, no, I do not. Based on the letter, I don't. Rakesh, do you have any comment? <clears throat> no comment on my side. Okay, now it's my turn. My only comment is the fencing for the retaining wall. Number one, there's more than 180 feet that has to go in. And $55 the linear floor is way short. I've been pricing fence for my own yard just to buy, and it's more than that. So you probably have about 300 feet anyway, Clay, to put up there. And at $55 a linear foot, that's, you know, I was up there tonight looking at it. And you have a temporary fence where the steepest part is, but it still has to extend further to yep. the west. A lot further to the west. So the 350 times 55, that's only 19 grand. It's going to cost you probably 25 grand at least minimum to put that in. So I'm going to go with $30,000 divided by 350 is a rough number. It's 85.71 per foot. So we'll make it $86 a foot. 86 times 350. I want to increase that from uh, 9,900 to 30,100. And that's an increase of $20,200. So the total bond would be 219,200. Does anyone on the board have an objection to that? Ron, do you have any objection to me adding the added money for the safety fence that has to go at the top of the ledge? No. Uh, Todd, do you have any objection? I have no objection. Do you want do you have any objection? No objection, but can you clarify which, uh, which portion? Oh, the fence. It's on uh, the actual page three. It's the first page of the um breakdown of the uh bond reduction so if you go under site work it says fencing for retaining wall which is basically yeah. the concrete the ledge up at the top that is way longer than what they specify here at 180 feet i didn't see any other retaining wall up there that's the only dangerous portion that i saw and i know it's at least 350 feet because i went out and looked at it myself tonight and i want to increase the price for 55 dollars a foot to $86 a foot, which brings the total bond reduction down to $219,200. Okay. You want to say where I'm coming from, Clay? Uh, I guess, you know, the only comment I have is I uh, use this, you know, mass state spec for, um, I don't know exactly where that 55 figure comes from, um, but if the board wish, uh, no objection. Okay. Anyone, anyone else in the public have any comment? Being none, may I have a, a motion to approve the bond reduction at 219,200. That would be the total left on the bond. Mr. Todd, I'll make that motion. May I have a second? This is Rocky Shaw's second. All those in favor, Ron Brooks? Aye. Todd Corain? Aye. Duarkesh? Aye. Myself, John Regan, is an aye. The motion it is a vote. It is passed at 219,000. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening. So next up on the... Agenda is the meeting minutes from 12-14-2021.
May I have a motion to approve the meeting minutes as presented? I'll make a motion to approve the meeting, uh, the minutes. Thank you, Director. Uh, Dwarkish. May I have a second? I'll second them, John. All those in favor? Dwarkish? Aye. Todd? I abstain since I was not present. Okay. Ron? Aye. Myself, John Ring is an aye. It is a vote. Uh, next on the meeting agenda is new business unforeseen by the chair, which there is none. And is there a uh, town planner update? Um, not particularly, just uh, we're still short an associate member. Um, so if anybody knows anybody, um, get them to have them, put them in touch with us and we'll talk to them. Also, the Zoning Bylaw Review Committee is short a member, so we're also seeking somebody for that committee. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Uh, may I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll make the motion, John. May I have a second? I'll second it. All those in favor? Ron? Aye. Todd? Aye. Dwarakesh? Aye. Aye. Myself, John Regas, and I, it is a vote. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank everybody for being here tonight. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.